we want to write an article on buying lipstick. So the first thing we need to do is come up with a list of theme words. And you could do that with the Google synonyms. And there are some useful words in there that you might want to include. Lipstick, buying lipstick, makeup, cosmetics, um, Estee Lauder, lip gloss, etc, etc. But we're going to ignore the Google synonyms for now and we're going to go straight to the keyword spider. And I'm going to analyze the page text and I'm going to just analyze the top 900 words on the top 10 pages at google.com. And I'm going to pause the video while the spider goes away and collects the pages and then crunches the data. Okay, the spider's come back and it's giving me theme words, two word phrases, three word phrases and four word phrases. And all I'm going to do now is go down and select the phrases that are uh, relevant and I'm going to pause the, the, the video and I'll be back when it comes down to choosing theme words. Okay just noticing as I'm going down the theme words you'll see here um, financial phrases and I've just been to check in the top 10 and there's a couple of Forex style sites in the top 10 because they have a, a technical term called lipstick indicator or something. Now I could actually filter those sites out when I run the spider and redo the spider, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just continue as um, as I'm going and select words that are relevant to putting uh, to buying lipstick. Okay, I'm down to picking the theme words now, and I just wanted to point out the way I'm selecting these. Some of the words I'm selecting, like that one, for example, product, it's not specifically about buying lipstick, but it's very likely to be a word that would be used when you were discussing how to buy lipstick. So I'm looking for words that are related but may not seem immediately obvious as being a potential uh, theme word. For example, care. You might not think that's a theme word to do with how to buy lipstick, but care, caring for your lips, skin care, it's a word that might be used in discussions. And um, What we'll do is we'll pick all the words here that we think could be related, and then I'll show you a quick way of cleaning that list so that only the most important ones remain in your theme word list. Okay, I finished selecting my theme words, two, three, and four word phrases, and I'm going to go over to the Create Report tab and add them to my article. And you can see them over here. In fact, if we look down the bottom, we've got 44 theme words, 39 theme phrases. The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that all the words that, are, uh, that make up these theme phrases are actually included as theme words. And you'll see now that my theme word list has now gone up to 74 because this includes not only the theme words I chose, but all the words that make up the theme phrases. Now, you could st stick at that and, and use that as the base and then um, reduce that number down to a more manageable number. I normally look for somewhere between 30 and 40 theme words. Or if you want to make sure you've got all the best theme words, you could go back and run another spider. Let's just say you could run a spider on lipstick and then come back and just select a few more theme words. But I'm quite happy with a list of 74 there, so I'm going to show you what to do next. If we go over onto the Reports tab and click the button Check Theme Words against the top 10, type in our theme phrase, and now Web Content Studio is going away and having a look at the top 10 pages, and it's going to look at the theme words that we've got, or the ones that we've chosen, and see how well the top 10 pages are themed for those theme words, and also how many times each of those theme words appears in pages in the top 10, and we'll get a report back in a moment. Okay, and the theme report now has come back. I'm just going to move that out of the way for a moment so we can see the actual theme report. Position number one in Google is the WikiHow by Lipstick article, and we can see it's quite well themed there. If we carry on going down, we can see and eHow number two is well themed as well. Um, again, good theming on these pages. Here's one that hasn't. And there, that's actually um, a 4x website. So that shows why it's not very well themed for buying lipstick. And then we have an Amazon page there as well, which we could exclude because that again may not necessarily be a well-themed page on buying lipstick because this is actually about lipstick and jungle. But you can get the idea. So at least two of those top 10 pages were not about buying lipstick. If I was to rerun the spider and exclude those sites like Amazon and that Investopedia site, I might get much better results. But anyway, just to show you how to do this, I'm going to say 
um, let's remove all theme words that do not appear on at least five of the top ten sites. In fact, it's going to be five of the top eight sites because we have an Amazon site there, which is irrelevant, and an Investopedia site, which is irrelevant. So we've actually only got eight sites about buying lipstick. But let's remove the words that don't appear on at least five of those top sites. And we've done that. And we can come back here to our list. You can see now the theme word count has gone down to 39. We also have 39 theme phrases. So we found 39 theme words and phrases that we can use on our article. Just as a little exercise, I want to have a look at a, a very low ranking web page and see how well themed that is against the theme words that we've chosen. If you've read my report that you can get from my website for free called Google Authority Sets, in it I, I suggest that all the pages that rank for a given phrase are all pretty good articles and they tend to be very well themed. Now we've got probably 39 of the best theme words for how to buy lipstick or buying lipstick. So if the assumptions from the Google Authority Sets report is true, if I was to go to the very last page, buying lipstick, let's have a look, see. Okay, there's actually only 505 results for this. Let's go on to the last but one page and we'll just pick any page off here that's about buying lipstick. This one here, let's just copy the URL and we'll go back to Web Content Studio and load that page into the editor. And then we can go and run a theme report we should find that this page is reasonably well themed, or at least uses um, a lot of the theme words. See there's a bit of keyword spamming in there. Let's go down to the bottom. Okay, theme score 100, quality theme score 52. Well, the quality theme score is probably because of that spamming that was going on. But if we look at the number of different theme words that are used, of my 30 what was it, 37 or 39 theme words, this article has used 26. In other words, it's used 66% of the theme words that we identified. It's ranking right down at the bottom. The reason for this is that the article is one of a set that Google thinks is good enough to show in the main index, but it's obviously not ranking higher for, for other reasons. But go and read the Google Authority Sets um, report on my website if you're interested in seeing what that's all about. But the end result, as far as we're concerned, there we have our theme words for the article and we have theme phrases. And if I was to write the article, I would concentrate on trying to get the theme words into my article with just a glancing eye at the theme phrases. And if I can find a way of putting those phrases in there, then I will do so. For example, if I've put in how to apply um, how to apply lipstick as a, as a title, then I've actually got how and apply, which are two of the theme words, into the article. And that's how I would actually work the words and theme words uh, phrases into an article if I was to write one.